Ground control to Major Alex, you're entering the planet's atmosphere. Can you see a straight shot? Over. Alex to control, I see the planet. I'm hovering over it now. Over. Confirm, we are releasing you now. Commencing countdown in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. You have been successfully detached, over. Roger, roger, I'm entering the atmosphere, over. Ground control to Major Alex. Prepare for splashdown, over. Alex, the control brakes for impact over. Major Alex, you must have a module. I'm over. Major Alex, to ground control. I am leading the capsule over. Negative, remain. Update. Plan. Control, you're cutting out. I didn't get that. Please repeat. I'm leaving the capsule. Alex, come in. Alex, stay in the capsule. Repeat, stay in the capsule. Miscalculation. We repeat, there is no land. There is no land. Being stranded in the middle of the ocean is already a big fear for a lot of people. And who wouldn't be scared of being stranded in the water with no land, and not knowing what could be swimming underneath your feet? But what if I told you there was a planet with no land at all? If you have thalassophobia, or a fear of open water, you must already be sweating. Well, if we travel 47 light years to the star Gliese 1214, we would find the super-Earth known as GJ-1214b, a super-Earth meaning it is larger than the Earth, three times its size in fact. However, it is significantly smaller than the gas giants of the solar system like Neptune. This planet is covered entirely in water, discovered in December of 2009 and nicknamed the Water World. To give perspective on how much water is on this planet, we will be comparing it to our very own ocean. Water covers 70% of the Earth's surface and accounts for 500th percent of the mass of the Earth. That's still a lot of water, right? Well, on GJ1214b, water is believed to account for 10% of the planet's mass. The deepest place found on Earth is found in the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is almost 7 miles deep. That's deeper than Mount Everest is high. However, the ocean of the water world, GJ1214b, is believed to be over 100 miles deep. I hope you know how to swim. Now I'm already sure that you're imagining the massive creatures in this giant ocean world. I mean, we have massive creatures like the blue whale in our oceans, which can reach almost 100 feet long and over 380,000 pounds. The creatures in this 100 mile deep ocean must be even more massive. Well, since the planet orbits its star so closely, it is believed that the planet is 400 degrees on the surface of the water. That means this water is actually boiling. The planet is so close to Gliese 1214 that a year is only 38 hours on this water world. To give perspective, Mercury, the planet that is closest to our sun, takes 88 days to orbit the sun. So that means the super-Earth is right next to this star. The surface of Mercury is 801 degrees. So if GJ1214b is so close to the star, why is it only 400 degrees? Well, that's because Gliese 1214 is a red dwarf, meaning it is a lot colder than our sun, which is a yellow dwarf star. Many scientists believe that since GJ1214b is so hot, it can't support life as we know it. However, I beg to differ. 
and the evidence I have to support this claim comes from our very own ocean creatures. Hydrothermal vents are an opening in the seafloor out of which heated mineral rich water flows. The cold seawater at the bottom of the ocean is heated by hot magma in the earth's crust and shoots upwards, basically an underwater old faithful. These vents reach temperatures of over 750 degrees. Too hot for any sea creatures, right? Wrong. See that? This strange creature with eyes on its back is a rare shrimp species known as Remicarius hibisae, which live in groups around the edges of hydrothermal vents. Other creatures living around these vents include huge red tipped tube worms, ghostly fish, and other small microorganisms, all of which thrive in this environment. So if these creatures can do it on our planet, who's to say it's out of the realm of possibility that it could happen on another planet millions of miles away from us? Okay, I just want to believe that some massive sea creature lives in a giant ocean on some planet far, far away. Because that would be super cool, don't judge me. Just because the Megalodon is extinct on our planet doesn't mean I have to believe it's extinct somewhere else. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I'm sure you're wondering what the core of this water planet is. Well, the core of the earth is made up of iron, the most abundant metal on the earth. So guess what the water planet's core is made of? Solid ice. That's right, ice. It is believed that the core of GJ1214b is made up of a solid mass of water called Ice 7. However, this isn't ordinary ice like we find on earth because this ice isn't cold. That's right, this ice is formed from the massive pressure of over 100 miles deep of ocean, pushing the water molecules together to form a solid, this solid being named Ice 7. That's pretty cool. However, that is literally everything known about this planet. The rest is just theories. However, when the new James Webb Telescope is launched in 2021, scientists hope to learn more about this very fascinating world, like what its atmosphere is made of. Scientists have already confirmed the planet has clouds, but unlike our clouds which are made of water, GJ1214b is too hot to have clouds made of water. It's theorized these clouds could be made of zinc sulfide or potassium chloride, but nobody knows for sure, and only time will tell. But now I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this very fascinating water world? Are you interested in more videos revolving around planets? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more great content. We do all the research so you don't have to. And as always, I'm Alex and I hope you have a fantastic day. Deeper than the roots of the trees that we planted in the graveyard I don't think these scars will ever fade off Good thing nothing seems to phase us So numb